artists. We are going to produce a wonderfully vibrant artwork today. We are going to be using the Zen Tangle drawing technique and we're going to be using watercolour as well in this artwork. You're going to be choosing, you may use the same one as myself, or you could find your own. If you go to unsplash.com, there are many um, photos for you to choose from of animals. If you do that, make sure you choose an animal that is very simple and is very big in the frame. You, you, and you pretty much just want the face. I will give you some examples that you can download on this video as well. Um, once you've done that, you're going to draw it out um, and use the Zentangle technique, which is a way of doing beautifully intricate patterns. And the patterns are supposed to be really mindful and relaxing. And there really is no right or wrong way of doing a Zentangle pattern, um, as long as they're intricate and you take time over them. So it's a good idea to have a look at my examples of Zentangles, which I'll also attach to this video, so that you have some ideas of different Zentangle patterns. You will then be doing a gradient wash in the background. That is where you're going from a darker to a lighter. As you can see, I'm going red, orange, yellow in mine. And uh, this wash is just going to be a wash in the background. And you can also just do different colored washes over your Zentangle patterns as well. You don't want, obviously, your paint to be too dark. Otherwise, you won't see your Zentangle pattern. Also, have, uh, take note that I used warm and cool colors to contrast. Um, in the background, we've got the warm colors, the reds, the orange, the yellows, and they contrast really nicely with the cool colors that I've used on the dog, the greens, the purples, and the blues. Now that's something you want to think about when you're producing your artwork, because if I'd painted the background blue, for example, then my dog would not have stood out so clearly against the background. So think about your colors carefully when you're doing your painting. As always, I love seeing your artwork. So please send them in to me by email if you can, and I would love to see your results and celebrate your artworks with you. Let's have a look what we need to do. First of all, let's start with the drawing. You can hold your photograph up to a window with a paper over it to get the basic shape. This works as a light box. Or you could use your observation skills to sketch out your animal. Make sure it's nice and large on the page and keep it very simple. You don't need to add any tonal value or any shading at all. Next, you need to add some curved lines to create sections on your animal. Now it's time to start our Zentangle pattern. You need to outline the section you're working on first and then add your Zentangle pattern. Have an idea of which patterns you want to put where and work slowly. Remember, there's no real right or wrong. If you just keep working and repeating your shapes, it will come out with a pattern. Work slowly and carefully, and remember to vary the thickness of your lines as well as making sure you've got some areas with darker pattern and some with a lighter pattern to keep it interesting. Finally, it's time to paint. First of all, you're going to create a wash in the background using a milky consistency of paint. So the paint is quite fluid. Notice how I'm very gently changing from one color to the other. I'm using red here and it's quite watery and then adding some orange straight in and blending it together. 
and then finally I'm taking some yellow and blending that in. Notice how you don't see any change in tone from the red to the orange to the yellow. Now you could stop your artwork here and just have the black and white sentangled animal and the wash in the background or you could go ahead and add some color into your animal as well like I've done here. Um, choose some colors that you think are going to contrast nicely with the background so that the background um, and the foreground don't clash and they don't blend into one another. Also make sure your paint is quite thin because you don't want to cover your Zentangle pattern completely. You still want it to show through. And finally, add any finishing touches, such as outlining it with a slightly thicker marker. Which one is your favorite? 